Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Yen Bai Hu campaign. This is episode 11. We pick it up from turn 70 in the summer season of 208. So this is our first episode after we have become emperor. Uh, there's a few things to wrap up. We have to wrap up this war with Liu Yao and uh, Shu Wu. They got a coalition going, so they're at war with us as well. Uh, we can easily just wreck them afterward if they don't want to peace out. But first, we're just going to get this delegated. Uh, pretty straightforward here, not worth our time. There's a lot of fun things to do this turn with our spies. We have Liu Zhang's wife under our command. Alright, Liu is wiped. Ooh, they, did they fix? Well, the, tr the treaty, the mercenary treaty is gone. Perfect. Alright, so we can, we sieged it, so we'll fix it. We can't rush that, unfortunately. Or else we would rush everything. But since we have this one, that's not worth the refund. We'll rush that. And then we'll get income. We're going to take control of this commandery. So we're just going to go fight them. Uh, there's no need to, to get a mercenary contract for them. Uh, because since we are taking control, we're not going to pass it on to anyone. We're going to try to enter into a mercenary contract with someone to attack Huangzu. Uh, that's our next target to grab that trade port. They're fully replenished. Uh, our wife has leveled up. Uh, there's not really a skill that we're desperate to gain. Right, there's really not a skill we're desperate to gain. You guys capture enemy officers would be nice. Avoiding ambushes. Charge speed is not useful. Melee armor piercing. So most stuff is pretty useless. I guess we'll just get this. Alright. Uh, do we get any cool items? Alright, we got a good armor. Ooh. War blade combo. So 25% melee damage for own army. Which is also pretty irrelevant for our army here. Uh, but I think... I think we have an army here who could actually use that melee damage but she has a legendary blade hmm let's see who else will eventually have a well I guess she's a bandit right she eventually will have a pretty decent army but then the bandit army wouldn't be melee that's the thing we could give it to him the other question is are war blades on our administrators so which is another problem all right, let's give this to him first. We could trade this off one of our administrators. It's fine. We don't really need the discount to building anymore because we have built everything. All right, so we'll adjust this next turn. If we can remember that. Um, you know what? We're making so much money. I feel like we should just get this army out. Oh, we have Emperor units, so we could span these. That could be our late game army composition. Definitely affordable. So front line of these guys aren't bad. I do like spear guards to absorb enemy arrows. So we could take one of these and then a bunch of these. I think we're just gonna go melee cav. Uh, they're boosting crossbow, so I don't think we actually need to get him any archers. We can go a different style with this army and just actually spam melee cav because he has this on it already. I don't know if I want the bandit version though. Not that interested in bandit version. We could get one of these. Suppression fire. Really random arm. Actually, because I'm a little OCD, we're going to do this. So it looks a little prettier. Um, over here, since we're trying to boost melee damage in this army and we have a good front line and he's ready kind of melee focused, we might just give him these. Scholar warriors. And then for his last unit... Hmm. Maybe 
Alright, he doesn't have any range boost. But this is like a burn a burn army, right? So we should probably still add some more range. Maybe just another one, Defender of Earth. Poison Arrow, one of them. Could work. Alright, let's add one. Alright, sure. The we weirdest army comp. Soon. You know, make, making do with what we have. Um... We want to get over there. We'll heal up right here with the uh, share of the spoil. It should be really quick, and then we'll start moving. Uh, we'll mow down Huangzu together with this army. Can march, try to get there a little faster. Oh, we're going to gain so much. Maybe if we get into friendly territory, it won't be that bad. Hostile territory. Oh, 44 from characters. It's like if we don't share, we just instantly lose a lot of movement. Alright, so we have a new army here. Meanwhile, everyone here is just... See, look, now they're sharing loot, but they're not dropping. They're dropping three. It's ridiculous. Oh, about the new characters, right? We want to recruit more people. Uh, these are the new ones. Local hero. Is this a bandit? I guess we could recruit him. Tiangong laborer. Lao Di Gun. What a weird name. Local hero. Not a bandit. Has reach. Bonus is morale and public order. Oh, public order and local commandery. Interesting bonus. Definitely has all the skill tree for a local administrator. All right, we're going to recruit him. He has an armor. Oh, he has an armor and a weapon. All right, we'll take both. I just don't want to flush out their rosters. Now, do you get along with any of the new guys? There we go. It's surprising. Alright, these are all full stack, except for this one. Uh, honestly, you can wait. We can summon a new army. Uh, we have so many new armies. This is what weapon craftsman. Summon him by himself. Alright, perfect. We're gonna try to recruit. I mean, we could definitely arrange marriages and use our money to get a lot of bandit characters as well. But maybe that's too cheap. Alright, we gotta try to lower. We can also give them the army. Right, but we don't have any cool units for them. Right, that's the big problem. Yeah. At least we have the Imper units. That's very helpful. Um, let's see if we can trade for anything here. 32. Hmm. Maybe not. Let's see. Huangzu. Who are you at war with? Ma Teng. <laughs> we can offer one for them. Wow, they're at war with tons of people. Uh, so we can only do it to the Vassal Master. Oh, that's not good. That means we won't actually get points for attacking Huangzhou, so scratch that plan. That plan failed. We're not going to actually be able to get a mercenary contract against them. Maybe we can get one against Shi Wu, who we're already fighting. Maybe with Cao Cao, actually.
They can just pay us. Tulsa's very, very rich. Oh. Not quite, huh? Not anymore, I guess. Well, he has a lot of gold. But we want per turn. That's a thing. Per turn gold, 177. To do a war that we're going to do. We can finish this war real quick. He has only one piece of land. So I guess we'll just get this done. Tulsa would like us a bit more. He has a ton of territory. So let's get on his good side. All right, and we don't actually need to start any new wars. We're just gonna be doing this anyways. Pop them out, get them healing. I feel like we should spam these on him. It's not like we're gonna give him archers. There we go. Hmm, how are we going to get that, though? We could spawn... ...a rebellion there. Ooh, that's an interesting idea, actually. But there's such a little piece of land here that we can... ...squeeze our units in. Right, we have to get everyone in here. It'd be such a traffic jam. Oh, but it's not hard. Actually, we can just get this army to do it. They're gonna get in trouble anyways. There we go. Don't have to really worry about it. Um, we literally have nothing to build. Now I guess we would just do the fun spy stuff after we put our administrator back. That's right. Forgot about that. I think it's yeah, yeah that doesn't have a oh, don't oh who doesn't have it. It's Liu Xiaoshu. Confirm. And I don't remember if we shuffled her item or not. I think we were trying to shuffle the other guy, uh, the other underlings' items. Yeah, we already shuffled that. We don't actually have anything to give them. Liu Chong's army, however, we do have something to give to you. There you go. We're gonna give you a good weapon soon, don't worry. Next turn. Alright, let's do our cool spy stuff. First, any new turncoats? Ooh, everyone's sad on his faction. That's our doing. Koron doesn't have anyone interesting. Shixie doesn't have anyone interesting. Wanlong doesn't have anyone interesting. Zhang Yang, that's new. All right, not too interested. All right, we're gonna. Oh, can't do it yet. We need a hundred points. We're almost there. One more turn. One more turn. Okay. He's also in the army. We don't need to discredit anyone. We can take over the whole faction anytime we want in the future. Now we want to mess with their faction a bit more. So I guess we want to do character because we already did the whole faction. We already have the minus 10. So we want to stack. Ooh, Lady Bian. Uh, that's not going to knock her out though. We want someone who's low enough already so that if we lower them any more, they might turn. Like air. <laughs> I don't think he's going to turn though. I guess we could recruit turn code airs. It's proven. That we have a turn code error. If we can somehow turn Tao Pi and make him assassinate Dad, that would be a story. Let's give it a shot. Make sure we have enough points. Yes, we should be good. All right, maybe we can get him low enough that he will turn code for us. Minus forty now, twenty-eight. It's gonna be a close call. Over here. Same idea. We were working on Chen Pu. Oh, he got. Oh, we wanted to do it last turn, but we couldn't. But now we can't do it. That's sad. What about you, Joe Tai? Um, sixty is too high. We can maybe do a whole faction one first. That drops everyone by ten. 
and then try again. Oh, Tai Shitsu. Oh, he'll be at zero. Oh, no, he already has, he already has it. Okay, so we gotta do faction. Right, so this is good. Minus 10. Plus 14, 64. We have enough points, we can do it. Okay, okay. Right, minus 40 now. He's only at 20. Everyone drops 10. Alright, we're gonna keep trying at this. We're gonna get it. The assassination have to wait next turn, I guess. Um, I'm also gonna wait for Ma Teng's faction, who we haven't had contact yet, so we can't. Oh, here it is. Never mind. I'm gonna wait till someone in his faction is ready to turn, and then we're gonna put a spy in, and maybe just use spies to take down these two kingdoms, because we are missing so many counties. We only have twenty something counties. Um. I don't know how we're going to get 95 at the rate we're going with mercenary contracts, uh, but it's still fine. Um, armies all moved, right? Right. I believe we're good. Let's uh, continue. And everyone in the court is on assignment. And we actually need more people on assignment because we got two extra assignment slots. Hmm. Maybe we will arrange some marriages because we really do need characters. Um... Maybe it can be a move to increase people's loyalty by giving them wives. So Zanba, who's a bandit, will find him a, a wife through arranged marriage. So who did he get? He got a sentinel. Wow. Lucky us. Lucky us. Because that's a bandit sentinel. Wrong side of the skill tree. But Bandit Sentinel with quite a good trait tree and pretty young. Okay, no check mark, but no 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 hating each other. Thief on army. Okay, so we're gonna give her on assignment for a while, just so that she can level up a bit. Maybe Jian Ye then, if you don't like here. Gotta be one that you like. Nope. Don't like either place. Um well, eventually we can get you into Nan Hives, but first, I guess you're just gonna have to make do with yourself. We just want the level up. Uh, we can do it again to get another character. I wasn't hoping for a Sentinel. Uh, for assignments, I'd rather get like champions or even strategists. But basically, if you pick a guy, it's one third chance because they only have three classes for females. Now, who else do we want to really reward here? Um, who else is a bandit? Guos is a thug. That's close enough. All right, Guos, you're fifty. Okay, you're fifty-four. We're not gonna find you a a wife at that age. Han Hao is close. Oh, he's a bandit. He's one of the ones that started with us. So let's find him a wife. All right, we got a commander. So that's good. Not greedy here. Not looking for multiple. Sentinels. 31. Charlton. Ah, pretty straightforward bonus there. Stubborn Unbreakable. Campaign movement. Starts with Into the Breach. Pretty cool. Uh, but we're just going to have you on assignment. Oh, do you guys get along? No one gets along with our underlings? Everyone hates our underlings? Everyone hates our underlings. Well, doesn't matter. Just here for experience. I mean, if we can find better ones, we're going to take her out and don't have to let her take the experience slot. It's also questionable that we're not letting you be in the army with your wife, but right now you're serving us. So anyways, uh, we're pretty happy with that. Every slot is filled. Uh, let's continue. All right. Oh, they left our coalition. Okay, then... Long Long might just have to die very soon. Now there's no purpose of keeping them. Sima Yi arrives. So Sima Yi is hard to keep happy, right? So there's a good chance Sima Yi will come join us. That's a good item. So... Yeah, these are all good items. Um, who has a super expensive retinue? Honestly, it's you. <laughs> Oh, this is also super expensive. So we're gonna switch this with this. 
We're gonna get him the sword. We can give the girl that we took out the sword a blade. This we can give you this one. It's the same stat, but it's a little cooler because it's silver. Alright, so we can move this army now too. Uh, they can heal up as they go. We might want to actually... Alright, now we're trespassing. Huh. I just want to... Should we just... We have so many deals though. It's just hard to do this. We'll make him break it with us. No, we'll keep marching. Get into this position. Alright, so we're going to push our main army into Changsha. We'll just declare war or something. Ooh, Yellow Turban's raging. Good job. The mess that we created. Um, so now we feel good about raiding him. Right? He's not our partner anymore. Sure, we're going to trespass. We're going to raid. We're going to do all sorts of stuff that you don't like. Come over and raid. Alright, the wife leveled up. Get this. I think we're just going to give her a whole retinue of these. Yeah, just a cavalry army. I guess for her... Maybe even all calves for her. Or maybe a front line of some sort. Maybe just Emperor units. They're the best thing we got, I think. Yuan Shu. Got. We can easily get into a war with him, force the vassal to fight us, and then wipe out the vassal. He's at war with Sun Ce. We can. Or Yuan Shao. We can work with anyone to get this. Okay. Okay. So. Alright, we're gonna keep them here. We're gonna let them heal up, and then we're gonna move them over here into strike position, and then we'll shift another army back to defend. Maybe them. I don't know who. Yeah, maybe we'll just leave the old Dong Zhuo faction in charge of Jian Ye. You guys can march. Get over here. And then, to make it efficient with our armies, we're gonna split. Alright, this way we can get the income multiplier higher. I think they're already in the right places. Look at that. This is what uh, Wang Wang gets. For... Well, actually, we were fine on this side. Yep, and every army is doing the same thing, which is great. Oh, Chen Gong's old group. Mm, this is a different, this is a weird army comp, but right now we're just gonna do this. There we go. Looks good to me. We're at what? We're at 22 armies. We can even pull out three more if we want to, but. We don't have that. Uh, let's see how much they hate us. <laughs> it's going to go much higher. Multiple instances of trespassing, multiple instances of raiding. And yellow turbans should be popping off left and right here very, very soon. Uh, next turn for sure, even though it's not showing it. All right, they're going to battle. I think they're probably better off into a strike position to keep an eye on all these armies. And we are actually on the move here as well to finish our contract. Yeah, we'll heal on the way. Um, armies all moved, basically spy maneuvering now. She's ready. 
but we can't do it. Huh. That is not what I intended. I think the reason is we can't do it because... I don't know why we can't do it. Your spy loyalty is too low to perform this action? That's the whole point of maintaining loyalty, isn't it? Hmm. Anyways, I guess we'll keep checking to see if anything changes. With him, we plan to trade this for cover. And then we'll wait for more points. Alright, we gotta wait. For points as well here because uh, there's plus 14 so we gotta wait at least another turn any new turncoats someone new and oh same th these three people coral yeah I don't think anyone's changed huh now maybe it's a interesting time to get a turncoat in long launch faction but the problem here is I don't want to fill up my spy slot because I want to keep checking for turncoats. So I guess no. And uh, we'll just go next turn as we flood the rating here. They can't heal. They might as well march. Alright, get into our territory a little faster. Alright, let's continue. Oh, Zhu Fu wants to sign a, a deal with us. So he's usually against Shi Xie's factions. So I'm not surprised he want to make contact with us. And plus, I think we neighbor him now. Any chance we can buy this from you guys? Yeah, maybe we can make this work. Does he want to be our vassal? No, he doesn't. Hold on, hold on. We gotta renegotiate here. We want his plus five here. We want to take his livestock farm. We want to offer him cash. He's not that greedy yet because he's poor. Okay, he's very poor. Wow. Maybe we can just lowball him. 350? Okay, that's good enough. And then we'll offer him some food because we do have tons of food sitting here as we have no tall builds yet he's okay he needs that food and then per turn payment we can go 500 a turn a thousand a turn 750 i think is good enough 738 40 43 all right we'll buy it all right uh kingdom of leon signed a peace treaty with duchies of wu okay we got a reform, we got a new weapon forge from the forge. It's a bronze T. I mean not a terrible character with a lot of instinct. We'll take him. Uh, not using him for assignments, though. I'm using him just for this. There we go. This will take a while. <laughs> but we got the rebel spawn. Alright, so what we want to do now is just heal walk to here. They're in position. I feel like we just declare war on them. Standard war because we can't we can't mercenary contract a vassal So we just attack them see if Liu Bell is willing to defend them He might not Oh, Maybe he did oh no got liberated right away didn't want to join this war See now maybe we can get a mercenary contract with him right it doesn't doesn't have to be where we're not at war with them. So first we're gonna wipe them out first. Uh, let's see, hold on, hold on. 
Switch maybe to March, just because. That's not his army, that's his army. I think they're actually at war. Don't siege them, leave that to us. Rebel spawning. Boost income. We bought a new livestock farm. There's got to be a modification here. Right. Done. Um, we can probably buy this too. He probably doesn't value it very much because it's just a tool maker. Yep. We had that right. Now we pegged him for what? Six? Six? Three? Fifty ish? Yeah, maybe 25, go down a little bit. Um, nine points, probably 500. 430, nine, there we go. Financial expansion. This is really good for us though, because you know, Toolmaker, 9% recruitment, uh, faction wide. All right, yellow turban. Zanke is what we really want. Well, actually, it's not a harbor, is it? Oh, it's not a harbor. My mistake. But it is pure commerce, trade port, and tea house. So I guess we don't want the commandery. We just want the the counties. Tangwu is a harbor one with three. So this one's nice, same as Nanhai. Um. All right, here comes the super messy part. Uh, honestly, we want to move them. Eh, we'll just get get Huoyang out of out of Wang Lang's hand first. Alright, we're gonna spread these guys out. It's kind of hilarious how many armies we have here. It's ridiculous, to be honest. Uh, I laughed so hard when I saw 25 as our army limit when we become emperor. We're basically gonna goad him into oh he has high cunning, he can keep he can keep sharing the spoils. Right. Alright, he's good. Phew. Alright, rebel spawning next turn. They'll take care of it and then they'll move over. And then these boys will take over the rebel situation. Actually, they can start moving now. The boys can take care of the rebel next turn. Uh, pop into the water. No, since you guys aren't replenishing anyways, let's pop on land here. There we go. Now we're in a threatening position. Alright, things going super well. Let's see, another bandit network. Uh, I forgot which one we got. I think we just got this one for corruption and population growth. 20% upkeep for melee cavalry. We do have quite a few melee cavalry now. And this can give us another melee cavalry, which is good for Liu Chong's army. So we could just go for that. Yeah, I guess we don't really have to consider too many things. If it's decent, we'll just get it. There's nothing that's like super decent that we just like need right away. Right, we're just gonna get this. It just looks decent enough. All right. Uh, I'm sure someone could use it. Oh, oh. Everyone has good items already. What about Liu Chong's army? This one. Right. Of course, they have good items. 
This is so, this is so cool. Um, all right, anyways. We'll just keep the D. Maybe we'll just trade it. It's a bronze one anyways. Uh, should we declare war this turn? We have movement. We, oh, we already declare war. What am I talking about? We will move in. We can't hit them this turn. We'll try to get rid of a little bit. It's slowing our movement or else we would have been able to reach. And down south, we are waiting for next turn. So basically, let's take a look at our spy. We still can't assassinate. Ooh, we got it. We finally could do it. I don't know why it took an extra turn, but we could do it now. So say goodbye to Liu Zhang. It's unfortunate we're killing a, you know, a unique character, a legendary one. But he's an emperor, and we're about to become emperor. Oh, we can't do it. We need an extra 12 points to do this? If we cancel, we just wipe out all our cost. Ouch. Ouch. Alright, I guess we just cancel. I'd rather keep the wife. He could die of not natural causes and we take over. Ouch. Yeah, we don't need to run interference. Alright, fine. That was a failed system. So I guess sometimes you do need cover to go over 100. Some character has like the cover plus 10, max cover. Hmm. That sucked. Okay. All right, Talpi is super mad. Can we get him to turn? Come on, Talpi. Smai, we knew it. All right, he, we're, we're, we're gonna buy him and we're just gonna steal him. Hard to keep him happy. Oh, he comes with a lot of points. We can discredit before we leave. Can you guys show us the roster? Wait, what's going on? Why can't... There we go. Like, would it drop by another 10 points? Let's see. Let's see if it works. Oh, come on. Plus 10. Mm, this is really bad. Terrible spy maneuvering. Okay. All right, deep breath. We'll wait till we get more points. I remember this one's plus 14. Okay, all right. All right, calm down for a second. It's plus 10, plus 10 for Tall Tall right now. Okay, got to try to remember that. It's plus 12 for this. Which is super annoying. I believe this is fine. All right. There's plus zero here. So we, we gain more. So instead of 37, we gain 42. Which is, you know, speeds things up a little bit. Plus 10, plus 10. 15. Okay, so we should probably use some. Oh, well, plus 10, plus 10 can do this. All right, who is happy right now that we can make sad? Oh, it's Ha'ong, the other son. Oh, wouldn't it be a sad day if both of your son are angry with you? But any useful generals? See, I don't think we can drop Talpi by another 30 because um, he already got hit by that. So let's hit Ha'ong by that as well. Let's have two different spies working in his faction, whispering things to both of his sons to make them both hate dad. Let's go. There we go. All right, create a problem in Tal Tal's court. All right, that's it. Uh, let's continue. That was a pretty bad showing for spies, but we'll recover. Oh, it seems like Liu Zhang is 
vassalizing Huangzu and asking us to peace out with him or he will declare war on us. We don't take threats like this lightly. We had your we had a knife at your neck just a turn ago. We just had to cancel it. We're not. We're rejecting. We're going to fight them. We want the trade port. Oh, Sima Yi. Oh, because he, he was... Uh, his satisfaction was so low that he's just coming back to us. That's why. That means we didn't have to extract him. Uh, which is great because now we get... Oh, Huangzu got vassalized, sure. Alright, we're going to get paid. We can't fight, though. This is really annoying. We just want the item. I don't want to lose fame and fortune right now because we can't get a fight. Clay pig. Alright, got an armor. So this is an awkward situation. They're sieging it. Who do you think you are? We're going to declare war on them as well. They also have a piece of Nanhai. So now we now we just chase them away, and then we take the city, and then we get a new deal. Alright, we're, we're getting pretty aggressive. We're telling people to back off left and right. Alright, he has a good set. Here, you deserve a nice armor. Alright, we had to go to war with the entire kingdom to take your land. Alright, this is a level 4, so if we technically want to, we can wreck it a level and get 800. But then we have to repair, so that will also waste a turn. I mean, it's relevant in the early game when you need money. When you have 184k sitting in the bank, it doesn't really matter. There we go. And that's going to boost our research rate. Alright, we want to pop out and heal by dropping our loot. Now they have another territory here, yellow turbans in the city. So that's pretty good. If we go grab that, right, and then we can keep the farming here. But then this is not really good commander to farm. We might as well take it. I think we might as well take it. We actually need counties to win. Yeah, the thing is we need counties to win. That's the big issue. Um, Alright, let's get... We're saving the city so we can take it. They're gonna run. Yep, we're not gonna chase them. We want the city. Uh, we're just gonna end this contract right here. Oh, we can't. Right. No siege. It's just the inconvenience. It's not sieging. It's not making us stronger. It's just the inconvenience on us. That's fine. Uh, we'll wait a turn. Uh, we got paid. We're not going to get paid again, so that's not going to really matter for us. Um, we're going to get everyone back to our side first. Just to see how crazy our income can be. Oh, click the wrong guy. Alright, so everyone back is sharing money. Let's see how much Puyan is actually gaining. 3,790%. Holy. Right. Now, unfortunately, some of them do need to go back to loot. Uh... But that's fine. Alright, Dubu is in position. Go, go farm them. We're going to end our contract next turn. And then get into a contract with... Um, Someone against Yuan Shu. And Lu Bu will start getting some fight. Get some fight into him. Oh, didn't kill him. Can we chase? There we go. 
get rid of the little loot so they travel faster and also heal up uh, Valon is still holding out I think they destroyed that army we lost vision so we're gonna get a little closer here to take a peek at their units all right we're gonna make this unit cross the river Yeah, we're not in a rush to actually fight yellow turbans. What about the High Empire? Who's at war with them? Quite a few factions. We technically could get a contract, but it will last 20 turns because the faction is quite big. And we're not really going to wipe everything out. So Yuan Shu is playing next because look at this. This is Duchy of Zhong. Not many land. And they have a lot of enemies. So I think we can get... Oh, Wang Long is also their vassal, which means we can fight Wang Long. That's another big plus. Get on a good side with Duchy of Wu, perhaps. If we're gonna fight with Wang Long, I believe this one army is enough. This army right here will be enough. Liu Chong will finally get some action. Alright, so he's coming back. She's getting points. Plus 10, plus 10. So we can do this. No, we can't do this. We can't do this. That would be a... We can do this. Alright. He's plus 0, plus 14. I've got to keep track of this. This is difficult. Alright. Let's see. We dropped faction already. Let's try to discredit character. I don't care about him. Ooh, Zhang Zhao, 61, that's too high. I uh, wish I could do it on him. Chen Pu, nope. Zhou Yu, ooh. Yeah, they're all just too high. Everyone's too happy with him. Oh, we can't do that yet. Let's just wait a turn. We'll recover some points first. Took a big loss last turn. Alright, we're good. Uh, we're going to be able to finish the contract next turn and get into a new one. So let's continue here. Alright, new turn. Kingdom of Valence signed a peace treaty with Zhang Yan. Han Sui got destroyed. Let's see if he's available to come south. The retirement home is open. Yep. Whole family again. Whole family. Wholesale. Wholesale right here. Han Sui, come join the fun. Recruit. We'll take your son. We'll take your other son. Whose wife is this? Oh, Duchy of Wu. Okay, so she's not, not related. Kingdom of Shun, also not related. So these two we won't hire. You didn't bring your wife? We welcome the whole family. Oh... See that on Cavalry. Wait, why not Tiang Cavalry? Interesting. You're seeing. Oh, no, he has a wife. We don't know who she is. He's 64, though. He might not be with us for long, but we have him for now. Thank you for your service. You're going to be raiding for a little bit. Got to serve your time, put in your due. So, this is a son. Ah, so so. Okay. So, this army is going to have to come down to fight them. That's going to be what's happening. Now they stop getting along with each other, which is okay. This army still makes so much sense that I'm not going to break them up. Clay rat. Okay. We're going to move them closer, then recruit. Now I know there's an heir with his display being Vanguard, but he's still considered... Uh, yeah, it says Vanguard, but he's still recruiting, you know. Look at the unit that he's available. He's still a champion. Take this one. Alright, no siege weapons. Yep, 
Yeah, these are just the best one we have. Okay, uh, so that army is good. Even the items, pretty good. Ooh. There we go. Sure, why not? Sun Tzu is here. All right, we're gonna get the contract done. We're gonna get a new contract with Sun Tzu. We wanna be friends with them, best buds, so that when their faction somehow gets destroyed, we'll be able to take them into the retirement home as well. All right, contract complete. Faction destroyed. Please tell me it's faction destroyed. I don't want that. Please don't have another random county. We're taking Nanhai. Right. Oh, faction not destroyed. Contract not over. He has more land? Uh, that's tough. That's really tough. Do we want to keep any of their buildings? I don't think so. We're not going peasantry here. Wait, we didn't convert this? My bad. Alright, watch us fix everything real quick. Actually, might keep that one. Oh, oh, it's weird. It's not letting me... Yeah, they gotta really make this a little better here. Uh, in building for sure. Then demolish. Rush. Uh, hold on. Rush. We want this just to boost commerce. Oh, before we do anything, give it an administrator. Income from all sources, source spice, hostels. This is really good. I think we're just going to give it to him. He looks pretty darn good. Oh, Smai. 50%. Oh, he's even better. Not so cheap, but like, look at that income from all source. Wait, do we want him to have a leadership role in our faction? I think it's just replenishment. 25 loot in own territory. That breaks the bandits. That absolutely breaks the bandits. Alright, who's coming out? Probably, probably our brother is coming out. Alright, melee evasion is just... Doesn't compare. Right, so our brother is coming out. One of them is gonna... Alright, who's gonna lose their job? I guess Yu Jin will lose his job. Alright, the man's gonna be sad for a little bit. Alright, take care of the Imperial household. And then Sima Yi will come give us infinite loot, basically. Look at that. Plus 10 from him, plus 25 from him. So how, how are our armies ever going to run out of loot here? Look. Look at that. Plus 2. Alright, you guys need to stop. You, got, you don't have to raid anymore, guys. You, you don't have to raid anymore. Infinite loot. Right, I think we farther broken the game. We no longer have to waste any time. All the army's green. We don't have to waste any clicking either. Get get into our territory. Infinite loot gang with Sima Yi. How many army slot do we have left? One more. Uh, we'll summon Han Xin so that he can stand on the map for. Oh, he, not not him. He has a huge retinue. We'll summon his other son that no one likes. Get rid of his retinue. Okay, so we just summon him, right? He starts at sixty. He gets how much boost? Fifty-two boost. If we switch to share the loot, minus forty-five, still plus seven. Oh, perfect. Too strong. Too strong.
We can still declare war on them. Do you guys want to be in an alliance? Hmm, no. See, but they will pay us to be in a mercenary contract. I thought we could end this contract fast. I was very mistaken. But, but, but it's nice to have this army over here. We'll just stand here to scare them. Oh, good units. Tiger guards. Handmaiden guard. Okay. Alright, that plant failed, but this is nice. They'll just keep an eye out. Alright, Huangzu's got men. Do they want to retake? They want to come here? Where's the bridge? Huh, where is the bridge? This one here, okay. We're gonna completely ignore that army. Don't really think they're gonna matter. Uh, I'm gonna guess he has another piece of land here. Oh no, High Empire, we can see that. Where is his other piece of land? High Empire. Yeah, we can tell, right? This high empire salt mine. Ah, this is a enemy territory. This one's red. It could be his though. Oh, we're gonna go wipe him out first. Uh, we gotta finish building here. Hold on, we didn't get the administrator in. We're gonna put him in. We're gonna go private workshop. More regional city. Regional city. I might get all the slots. Uh, we want forge just for the forge items. And the last one we want. Either we can increase post battle loot faction wide and also income from diplomacy and mercenary treaties. Tributes. Or we can go with bandit building for straight income. And actually another retinue of army. I mean with so many bandit income sources, maybe it's better. But it's just flat bandit income, there's no percentage on this. There's no industry income here. Alright, we just have we actually we have actually low banditry income if anything. Hmm. Maybe just this. Right. We'll, we'll try to scale faction wide post battle loot. And then we'll drop construction cost by 15 here. Alright. We want better weapons. And go with that. We'll do purple building first, which will give discounts to all our blue buildings. And then go with this. Oh! Yeah, it's hard to click on the right things. Trade influence or undercover network cost for enemy spies. I don't really care about that. We're very meticulous in recruiting. We're not going to have any enemy spies. All right, we're good. We just need to grab that rice patty. Meanwhile, I believe we can convert this to a tea house, right? Because we didn't have tea before. What about here? Same thing. Right, good, good, good. Leveled up right away after becoming administrator. There's no industry for you to boost, so there's no point. We'd rather give you some resolve 
to increase population growth. All right, time to play with spies. Sun? Nope. I got Samaya already though. So this faction isn't destroyed. We don't know who, where he is though. All right, so with no new candidates, but we can play around with these. Do we actually need to maintain loyalty? Is the air ever gonna flip? Yeah, I don't think the air is ever gonna flip. Okay, we we're not gonna be able to kill him. We're at war with him right now. Yeah, we'll just discredit. Who's the weakest link? Who's gonna crack? One of you is willing. That's why I can select it. Wait, who is it? Wait, no way. That's that's super weird. All right, we can select it, but no one's willing. Okay, what about individual characters? Your son or our son? Our son. We could flip our son before he somehow becomes heir. Well, Zhang Lu, that's who I really want. He's old though. But um, he's what, 73? Rivals with faction leader. Mm. It's going to be hard to get this. She has a nice armor. 82 though. Alright, we're going to discredit our son. If we can't kill our husband, we're going to make our son feel bad. There we go. It didn't add any points. It just went directly. So maybe if we save enough, we might be able to assassinate him. We're dreaming again. Worst case scenario, we, we give up on it again. Alright, this Tall Tall is plus 10 plus 10. So we could discredit character. Alright, who is available? Ooh, Yue Jin. 54. Desire higher core position. Well, now you're going to desire a bit more, but let's see who else first. So we have a pretty good candidate. Cao Zhang, the other son. Oh, we're going to mess with his... Ooh. Compet okay. I mean, we can't drop him anymore unless we do faction discredit. All right, we're just going to do another son. We're going to mess with all the sons. Right, Cao Ang, Cao Pi, Cao Zhang. And then when Cao Zhu come of age, we'll do it to him too. Alright, we gotta be able to do something here. We got so many points. Plus 14 is no problem. Who's willing to spread some bad news faction wide? Actually, they have a hit. Yeah, so maybe, maybe we need a more direct approach. Zhou Tai. Oh, oh, okay. For sure. Plus 2, plus 14. Gotta remember that. Alright, Zhou Tai is super low now. Any chance? Maybe he'll turn? I think it had. Maybe it has to be someone who's willing to spy. That might be another thing. But if we get him angry, right? 14 is pretty low. Maybe he'll just leave. Alright, that army's good. That army's good. We full build a commandery right away. Oh, we can get some better assignments here. That's right. Somebody should come out on the field. We definitely want to boost. Alright, so we want to boost a lot of... So what we want to do is recall some of our strategists because we want to boost um, commerce income everywhere. So we'll summon him back for next turn. And then we'll put Samai out. The mastermind behind this operation. He has a siege weapon. We'll get rid of it. Uh, we'll keep the two mounted archers for fun. Because apparently, I think we only recruit one of the mounted archers. Right, but he uses up that slot just by having them. No, 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 we don't need this. Uh, we're just going to delete it. All right, cool. Uh, make sure you are doing this. Max army limit. 
Yep, and we'll get someone else to boost uh, commerce next turn. We can maybe cancel the tax. This one's kind of pointless. We can switch it to a commander that actually have income. Right, we have th we're, we're basically going to have three commerce. And that's kind of pointless. We must have a sentinel who actually have industrial boost. Negative. Actually, it's easier to check here. Yu Jin. Nope, you don't have it. It's the leftmost one on the skill tree. Seriously? No one has it? Well, I guess no one has it then. Well, she has it, but she's doing it already. Hansui doesn't have it either. Oh, well, we'll figure something out with the assignments next turn. Uh, spy is good. Armies have moved. Army has moved. Pop them out. Do this. All right, now we're good. Uh, let's continue. Oh, Shishi is offering us a trade agreement. Very happy to take this. Very happy. Would you like to become our coalition partner? Because we do need one. It's nice to always have one. Maybe you would like to have a few food. Two. And then you can pay us a little bit for three food. And trade with us. Uh, we don't want to wait, wait 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 cancel 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 we messed that up it was it was good but i i messed that up we want we want coalition oh we can form an empire as well we have Zhengjiang, so empire income is actually really good how are you at war with every single one of your brothers anyways um Coalition plays into our faction mechanic, but uh, it's more expensive. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll just get the coalition and get our faction mechanic going. Three food and some gold per turn. Twenty. Two. There we go. Wow, his territory is huge. Okay, Gongsun Zan signs a peace treaty, no problem. Coalition. Alright, new suit armor. Actually, now I think about it, I should have done Empire. Then all his territory would be part of our what counts toward our victory condition. We can still change it, I feel like. I feel like we can upgrade our, our setup with him. We can just pay him for it. Hold on. Right. Like this. Ah. Uh, uh, we messed up. Yeah, we messed up. Can we vassalize him? It's another option I'm considering. Meal. We can't. Should have done Empire. <sighs> All right, can't take that back. But at least we got Vision. So Shu Wu has two more territories. One here, one here. We can at least ask them to attack it for us and end this quest. But we basically have to clean them out and then go attack them before the contract expires and disaster hit. Uh, free income here, set up. Never have to worry about them again. Sun Tzu took the land that we wanted to take, but that's fine. Uh, rather, well, I guess eventually we can sign the opposite mercenary contract to get them. Uh, messed up our plan with Shi Wu's attack here. Uh, but we're looking pretty good. Uh, that exploit is amazing. Uh, and then we're gonna Figure out a way to get them into an empire. Maybe leaving a coalition wouldn't be so bad after like 10 turns or so. And then we can just bribe them into an empire. We can always pay the price. 
um, that's it. Uh, we're going to end this episode here. We'll come back and continue to expand down south and uh, make a push. And you can see yellow turbans. Oh, Liu Biao. And yellow turban has the same color. No, yellow turban is this color. Okay, so Liu Biao's pushed out of his northern territory and just has a little bit of the south. Interesting. Cao Cao's pretty strong. I'm surprised he didn't get an emperor. We can kind of see his border. And I guess this is all Ma, Ma Teng's here. Now that Han Sui is gone too. Uh, but we're basically going to make this push this way. Uh, Rui Bu is going to hold down the fort this side. And uh, Huang Zhu has a... Uh, he's just the same color as the Ha Empire. But he's not actually here. Okay. Uh, anyways, see you guys next time. Bye.